this is uh, part for uh, the complete installation of vSphere. This is about uh, creating uh, the open file. So in here, we'll create a new virtual machine. Okay, on the background, I just created the open file VM with uh, 400 memory, one processor, hard disk is one gig, and the VM network is connected to VM net zero because VM net zero is connected to the 172 subnet, and that will be the subnet that will connect to the ESX. Okay, let's fire this up on. I'm gonna install Linux like that. And in here, I will just use all the default installation. Okay. The open filer is connected to this one, 172 subnet, and it will connect to the ESX. So I need to put two NICs or more NICs on ESX, and one of them is 172 subnet. And it will be the same on the ESX2 but we don't have that yet so in here I'm using that 10 as the IP and DNS and in here it's openfiler.local.com local.com doesn't exist you just you just cre create that um, the openfiler doesn't connect to it need to connect to the main uh, domain which is vsphere.com and the gateway is um, this desktop which is the virtual 64 and it has that uh, subnet as well 172 okay it's installing now the, the kernel 2.6 by the way if you notice uh, there's only one hard disk for now because uh, it's better that way that you install just one hard disk for now and then you add when it's pr uh, installed uh, the storage for the share volume so let's finish this one first okay it's installation is done reboot okay after boot up you have the URL here and it's like that and we log in as open filer and the password is password the first thing we will do here is uh, go to services and enable the iSCSI server target and then we shut down and add the uh, share volume oops I shut down actually so I'll just stop it here okay so we'll add another hard drive and we'll say create a new disk iSCSI and we'll say 200 gig and that one so we know 200 gig for our storage system and power that on again uh, <coughs> so it's back so when you click the volumes uh, you have the ability hit here to create a new physical volumes and this is the one we need to create because the 8 gig is for the open file operating system you click that one and the next one here is go to the bottom and let's just create this one as 200 gig now if you click the volumes again since there's a physical volume now you can create now the volume name and we will say that one is just volume one check this one and add volume group now since we have volume one we have only one volume you can click shares now and say create a file system volume on the volume and we will name this one as sh we name that one share one on volume one and we put the size as roughly 100, 100 gig and we use iSCSI and then create so on the shares again if you click that one and create another one we can still create another one because we still have uh, another hundred thousand so this does two hundred thousand but for now we, we will not do that the next thing we will do is to create the iSCSI targets before 
before we add this uh, ice caps target, we will copy that one. Control A and copy, and put put it here. And I put it there. We will need that later on when connecting to ESX. So X create act. Click add. Use the default, and then on the land mapping, since we have a share one, we will say this one as black IO. I don't know what's the transform mode yet, and but you need we need to click map here, and it's supposed to go map. And then on the network ACL, we don't have the network ACL yet because on the system we haven't added the ESX. Um, on the system, there's a network access configuration here. Uh, we will put the name of the ES uh, server that will connect to that, which is ESX1. Um, the network host is uh, 172.1.1.11. You see the network map here? Yeah, yeah, is the one. So that's 11, and the net mask here. I still don't have an uh, explanation why we need to use 2.5, 2.5, and then update. And let's see that one on the ESX. I already connected the sec second uh, desktop. Um, if we analyze this one, we, we added a network adapter 2 now, which is... Um, we added network adapter 2 is connected to VMNet 3 and on the VMNet 3 that's connected to the first Intel 1 gig and if you check the network on this one that 1 gig is uh, have a connected to the 172 subnet so that one will connect to the open fire and from 2 ESX let's go back to the open filer so we need we added the network access which is ESX1 and on the shares uh, uh, okay let's go back to volumes and it's cast the targets and the network ACL here since it's listed there we will say allow and update and then the chap authentication we don't need to to put chap because this, this is just a testing that's authentication. Now I'm connecting to the ESX1, just a direct connection to the ESX. This is not vCenter yet, we haven't installed vCenter. Okay, now we're connected and let's exit the maintenance mode. And on the configuration and networking. In here on networking, we need to add another virtual NIC and we will say VM kernel because we need to add that iSCSI. And next, and we will use the VM NEC one because that's the new one. The the series already been used with a ten subnet. Next, and we will just um, name that. I just name that iSCSI. Uh, next. Okay, that's the IP uh, address that we will use according to our mapping. ESX one, and then the gateway is on the first virtual desktop next and then finish click uh, network adapters or storage adapters and on the SCSI let's go to properties let's click configure and enable this one and click ok and I think we need to close it it goes on tab so click properties again now it's enabled and we will go to static discovery and click add okay that's the iSCSI IP address and this is the port it's using and the target that we used before I mean uh, we created it and then we just click ok ok he discovered that and make sure on the chop do not use chop and do not use chop and then click close I click close say it will it needs to rescan and it's completed and it should show the 100 gig here